Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It's the morning of day 34 and we got a big wandering horde that just kind of passed by us here. I'm on top of Bob's right now. I've been sniping zombies all night. Killed a couple dogs as well. Dogs did some good work out here. They killed a whole bunch of zombies while I was in talking to Bob. Picked up a quest that we need to go do this morning. But I don't know if I want to deal with this horde. I'm kind of iffy on it. One, we could get good loot. I mean, there's about four loot bags out back we can go grab, but two, it's the amount of ammo it's going to take to kill all these guys. I mean, we might be able to get in with the 44 here. Some of these guys are pretty tough. That was four shots. This is a dire wolf, I think. Or is it? No, it's regular wolf. I don't know. I don't think I want to go after them. We don't know if the horde's coming today or not. Oh, I forgot there's barbed wire there. It's hard to see. So let's go around back. Uh, pick up the loot bags that dropped last night. There's a couple of uh, doctors and then a, um, a couple of just regular zombies that dropped some stuff here. Now, Feral Sense is on. So these guys are going to spot me. Here comes the runner. You got some speed, T.I. Here comes a dog. Good luck with that one, buddy. Oh, we might be able to take that wandering horde on if the spear is going to work well. One more bag over there, though. Let's have a quick look. Now, we've made about 18 grand so far, which is nice. Ah, uh, do I want to drive by there? Actually, let's take one of these. Get our wellness up a little bit, and then let's go ahead and drop anything we can in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go... Ah, I'm going to go do the quest. If there, if, I, if I knew there wasn't a horde coming tonight, I'd be fine with it, but I have no idea what's going to happen. So at least we know that the wandering horde's gone by, so I don't feel too bad about going into buildings right now. It's only going to be regular zombies on the outside. Let's grab this. It's on the main floor. We know where the loot is in this house, too, so... It's, like, right in here. I'm gonna open the door all completely. Alright, what do you got for me? 70 bucks. Oh, somebody was in the back spikes. So this is... Right here. Uh, how did you hear me? Come on, you guys. Ooh. You know I'm here. You know I'm here. That's a lot of hit points. Try to get the head. Try to get the head. Doesn't matter. She down. Let's check this out, though. Um... Gonna scrap these. The iron tools I can are the steel tools I can already make. Because of labor class, right? So where are you? Right here? Yep. Cool. Just back out of there slowly. Let's go around this way. Because I think we can get the main loop pretty quick here. Ooh, that's a nice grab. It's quiet. Alright, let's see if we can get... Yeah, I'm not going to cheat that. I can shoot through the wall, but... Couple of big boys coming to defend Big Mama. Get rid of the lumberjack if we can. Nope. I'll piss off. There we go. Grab what we can out of here. Alright, some ammo. That figures. Scrap both of those guys.
grab this and this and see ya actually well whoa, kill you first die Kenny they're not gonna need the AC they ain't gonna need the AC I'm leaving everything else let's get the hell out of here so that was a nice smash and grab. So he's got a lot of fetches. Tier 3, I think. So I think what we'll do is we'll take another fetch. Go downtown. Although now I'm worried about that wandering horde coming and attacking his place. I don't know how far along the road they went. But um, we'll, take a, we'll take a quest from him. That takes us downtown. A lot of them are fairly close. Grab as much in there as we can. And then um, I'm going to go take a drive around the city just to see how big it is. It looks like it's actually a half decent size. I thought you might be one uh, muzzle break. We might be able to use that. And weighted head. That can probably go in the turret. I'm going to grab both of these and we're going to use those. So let's just sell him some stuff here. Oops, not that. That can go. That can go. Whatever I can get in there can go. Yeah, we didn't... Um, the uh, thing didn't update, so... Alright. Um, his inventory updates in the next couple days, so... Yeah, see, we've got like three there. This one's to the east. Let's grab the furthest one. I have a task for you, friend, if you're interested. Refinery. Okay, Ooh, I'm not doing the refinery. Um, safe travels, friend. Not doing the refinery. I know which one that is, and I'm not doing it. Uh, a a warehouse. Thank you. I, bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. I would not do this for just anyone in the wasteland. I'm barely even doing it for you. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so I decided to head east first, just to open up this side of the town, because we haven't really been over here yet. Looks like there's a uh, electronic shop here. Emma Gaunt's not a bad quick raid because I know there's a secret stash upstairs, but we've got a lathe and everything, so I don't really have to kind of go up there. Buy and go. Okay. A little bit of stuff here. The uh, Apartments of Death. Is this a bookstore? It is. A crack of book. Alright, we're not going to do that right now. We got it on the map, which is nice. So there's nothing over there. We were there yesterday. So this looks like it goes back into houses. So let's go not down there. I find a couple of these alleys just end in dead ends. Alright. Looks like there's more on this side, so that's broken down so like I mean we could live in the in the downtown area here I could find like a place here and we could build a house in the city it's not over there it'd be nice if there was another shamway building here like I know we've already gone the, kind of done the shamway thing but then it would be like I wouldn't feel so bad about leaving our current house is that the shamway building oh no that's the um yeah the candy factory so where's our quest over here. Right here. Doc Chemicals. Oh! This is the place that's across from our current house. Alright, well this ain't bad. This could either be really easy or really hard. And it's really hard. Because it's like right at the very end. Um, well, no horde so far. Ah, fuck it. Let's just do it. And of course you're locked even though this is where we got to start. No shooting unless I have to. Here's somebody outside. Fuck it, let's wake these guys up. Come on, buddy. Let's go, you guys. Got 
Go down. Go down. This guy's a tough one. One down. Nice. We got some locals showing up for the party. Hey, mama. Ooh, what do you got for me? Hopefully no rotten flesh. And good night. Cool, I'll just drink that now. Use this. Let's scrap these. Alright, what can we put in the bike? Not much. Actually, let's drop these or that. How are we doing for time? Five minutes. Let's use another one just in case. I'll probably use all three of them today. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to loot anything yet. Is it? It's on the other side. Damn it. You couldn't make it easy, huh? Ah, we got a horde tonight. Shit, I gotta make this fast then. Okay, I got a bit of a piece of one. Ah, there you go. Ammo pile? Not a lot. Where the fuck is it? Is it right up here? Hmm. Must be above me then. Which means... You gotta fight the guy at the top of the stairs. Yeah, there it is. There's usually a guy right here. This guy. Alright, problem solved. I think we go for the end loot too. Might as well. We are here. Can I put one through the wall there? Let's see if we can be a little crazy here. Almost got a sight on him. Three shots. Not too bad. What's up, guys? Yeah, I know. Friggin' players cheating again. Whoops, knocked me off. Oh shit, where the- how the- Stop. Gotta watch where I'm shooting. There's a fuel barrel there. Damn it. He jumped on and knocked me off. Ah, I got a broken arm now. Okay, well, let's just grab the loot and get the hell out of here. Damn. Well. I mean, I guess it could have been worse. Well, that's good ammo. Okay, we leveled up. Actually, before I do that, let's, um... I'm gonna go into Looter again. Where are you here? Scavenger. I'm gonna do that again. Alright, not bad. Some aloe. Come on. Nothing. Alright, we can scrap you. Alright, we got a few things to sell. Um, let's, um, use the lockpicks on this guy. Alright, that wasn't bad. Like, three lockpicks. Alright. Starting to get some, uh, energy cells for laser weapons. Take all that. Not a bad little haul. See if we can get some fuel here. I'm gonna grab these things, I think, real quick. Then we're gonna head back to the house. Um, yeah, we should be pretty good for Horde. I don't think we needed to do it. I think we decided last, um... Uh, or two episodes ago that we were going to just leave the kind of base as is. And then um, just let things fall out as it will. 
Uh, hmm. Grab that. Do we need paper? I can't remember if we need paper or not. Now 14 rounds. Not gonna say no to that. Hopefully it's another vulture we can kill. I'm gonna grab all of the cobble because we're gonna need as much building material as we possibly can get. Um, when we do move our base, which I think, I don't know. I think I gotta decide when that's gonna happen. We never really did find a place here in town in the short period of time that we were here uh, that we can really move into. I think what we might do um, is take another quick look around. We didn't go all the way to the edge of the town. So when we leave here, we'll go um, continue north and see if there's anything else up there. Um, how are we doing here? Let's just uh, grab that and grab this one. And this one. The more electrical parts we have, the better. All right, let's get back to the trader. So there's a JD shipping right over there. I've never been in there, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, this is the refinery. Shamway building on the left. Oh, here it is right here. We could just move here. Like, I mean, we've got, like, great frame rate. High Candy Company's not bad. Close by. John Ham's radar. Or, radar. John Ham's radio. But I think we could move into this Shamway building rather successfully. Because, I, I mean, I know what I want to do for the new Horde base. I want to change the design that we have. Right now we have them coming up from the right. And then... Um, let's get out of here before we spend too long here. I mean, we could move right here. I think we do that. I think that's a good... That's a good... Uh, a good compromise. So we're basically keeping the same base. We're just in a different town. Now we got to rebuild the Horde base. So I think what we do is we move when I have enough materials to rebuild the horde base. Because the house itself will be fine. Just got to knock out those stairs, which with the steel tools now that we have, should go pretty quickly, I think. Um, but yeah, what's this building? JD Shipping. Some materials in the dock. Relatively small footprint. I still like the Shamway building better because I would I really want to kind of build a horde base inside it at some point. But yeah, so as the horde base is now, the zombies kind of come up from the uh, right hand side, and then they go up, they walk up on the uh, catwalk, right? Make a left and head straight to us where the junk turrets are. So my thought is, when they start, they're walking up on the catwalk but heading straight towards us, where we've got a shooting hole we can fire through. And then, ah, oh shit. Is he gonna know I'm here? I think he is. Yep. That's a lot of hit points. I think I missed that last one. Anyways, they'll walk up, head straight towards us. Good God. Mo. Jesus Christ. So the walk up straight. I'm going to go get a. That's it. I'm going to go up here and get a uh, cast first. <sighs> so they'll walk straight towards us. Like the ramp will Can come I up straight you? towards us. Yeah, I need a cast. Not jobs. 
Um, no. Cast. Inventory. Plastic cast. Bye. You're welcome. Thank you. Apparently that's not what I need. I need a splint. Um, got one of those two. Thank you. I think I just bandaged up my head. All right, let's just use that. Use the splint. All right. Um, oh, should just uh, break this up. So yeah, as I was saying, they'll walk up the ramp directly towards us. We'll get a sh be able to shoot straight down through them. They'll have to make a right on the ramp. Go past the sledge turrets, which will knock them off away from the base. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to grab that. Alright, can I see your inventory? And then whoever manages to get past the sledge turret will have to make a left, and then a left again to get to the door. And we can sell both of those and that. Mm, I don't know if we need bellows or not. I think I made them, but... Not gonna need that. I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, just sell the light. Uh, eight times scope. I'm not gonna need eight times the scope. I can sell these guys off. Not bad. What are we at here? That's yeah, not bad. We made a we made a fair bit of coin since we were out. Fair bit of coin. Oh yeah, we can sell you that. That's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm going to take another job, though, because we can do that when we come back another day. Um, let's grab... Wait, how far north was the Shamway building? Sawmill. Let's, I don't think I've ever done the sawmill, so let's grab that one. Alright, so let's get home. Because at a certain point... The bike will stop stop functioning, and I would rather be in our town if that happened. Yeah, yeah, I look at you guys. Oh, there's a bag out here. Did it just disappear? No, it's still there. Mm, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, what a time for lag. Ammo. See ya. You can be mad all you want. I ain't staying to fight you. I gotta get home. Um, so yeah, so the, it's gonna be like... Straight up, right, left, left again to get into where the base is. So we'll be facing out on the front face of it. And I'm going to have double shuttered doors that lead straight out to where they are. Then a second set of double shuttered doors um, just left of where the sledge is. That I can throw stuff down on them. And then um, it'll wrap around to a hatch or double set of hatches. And I better mark where we're going here because I'll probably just, like, drive right past it. Um, but it's going to come around to a hatch. And I've discovered a way that I can alleviate pressure on the walkway. So, and it was inadvertent because I built a, a hatch base in my offline playthrough. And originally what I wanted to do was, instead of having pillars on the ground... I wanted to have poles that would stick out from the base. Those really, really thin 0.25 meter poles, or 0 0.025 meter poles, um, that would stick out from the wall. There would be three of them that would go out and support the platform. And then there would be, like, so it would be out three from the wall. And then there would be multiple of those along, like, I think it was like two on the front, one on the side. But it's still at a, in a position where even if all of them got knocked out, the platform would still be up. Um, it just was to provide extra support. Anyway, um, so I did that, and for some reason the zombies weren't coming to the door. And what I had done was I had put, rather than um, a single hatch at the, at the door, I made it double wide. And I put two posts side by side, giving them a thicker bar to walk on. And then I put hatches on top of them. And I guess the posts they see as a place to walk, but then when you put an open hatch above it, because I opened my outside hatch, right? Yeah, I see this town. This town's like so laggy. Anyways, I, I put the open hatch on the outside. I would open it up. And then they stopped seeing that as a pathway to get to me. For some reason. Just because it was sitting on a post. as Like a, like a long post instead of a, plat, like a flat plane. Um, and they would just... Ref they refused to come to the door. So I couldn't... Fi I didn't figure that out. That it was the hatch that was causing the problem. Until several hordes later. 
and I fought them I fought them out on the platform for the first two hordes because I couldn't figure out what the deal was right I'm like why are you not coming to the door anyway um, so that being said I figured out what the issue was so now we can open open up an outside hatch to break their pathing so if we need to alleviate pressure at the door for whatever reason we can open that hatch up and then they're gonna think that there's no path to me and then they'll go into destroy block mode or what they did before was they would wander around a little bit on the platform and then beat down a little bit so it wasn't like it wasn't so bad um, now I, I've yet to need that in the new horde base I don't need to open that outside hatch even with the new behemoths and the um, like the Demolisher Behemoth, whatever it is, the one that does a lot of damage. God, why is it there's more locals here? It's probably because it's a city and not a town. Because it always seems like I fight like three or four times the amount of zombies here than anywhere else. Yeah, it'll be nice to get out of here. With this lag. Hey, Mo. But that means we have to redo all the crops. But I think I can dig up the... Uh, like, I'm pretty sure I can dig them up. We'll wait for them to grow one more time, then I'll just pull up the seeds and then dig them up. Oi, fuck away from my base. How are they doing now? Anyway, they should be, like, at least part way done. What did we lose here? What was here? We may have lost it from birds on Horde Night. I think those were potatoes. I think we lost a piece of corn at the end here too. Damn. Well, we'll have to make sure on our next Horde base that our farm is like much better protected than what it is right now. Like I think we can put over, put, um, I think we can put bars over it and not have to worry about it not growing. Oh shit, I got everything in the bike too. Damn it. All right, well, we're able to get 1,800 concrete going, which isn't bad. We have no stone, but that's fine. We can pick up some really quickly outside. So that, we've got all these cans to make oil with now. So I want to do that, um, I think, before we move, because I can get them into better, more efficient stacks here. So oil should be able to... Oh, I never got the... Uh, did I get the oil shell out? I did. Hell. Uh, oil shale, oil, we can get 103 moving, so that's like 30 minutes. Not bad. Excellent. We'll be set for oil for quite some time. I'm going to put the gas in here too. Now we need to get stone, I'm going to go do that now. So we have a little bit of stone. Ooh, and I'm starving. Um... So I think we're going to be okay. Now we do have glue in here. Yes. Okay. Put you in there. Um, what do we need to do? Actually, you can go in here. Uh, let's grab uh, something to eat. Where is the uh, meat stew? Let's grab one out of here instead. Excellent. Okay. That was iron. Nothing in there. So didn't we have... In here. I want to grab that out and start the tips again. Oh yeah, we, if we start them over, it's way faster. So, if, Ah shit, man. I, I should have thought of that before we left. Oh well. It's a huge difference, eh? Um, tips. Craft. How are you doing? Uh, casings, 1400 and something, right? Yeah. Alright. That's faster. Much faster. Can drop all this stuff in here probably. Now you... 
and you can come out uh, we have better gloves now those guys go in there oops we got more uh, let's make another 300 and 300 actually we can grab another thing out of there we can grab 302 um, 762 or whatever we can make 762 grab one more bullet tip here the buckshot I want to try and make some more coil buckshot um, so that's done we're out of gunpowder Ooh, it's gonna get brutal pretty soon guys it's gonna get brutal pretty soon all right um, take the iron put it in here so now I want to go address that sledge outside um, we have a better one don't we this no we have better sledges outside so those are okay but I do have the weighted head I want to throw on one of them so we'll do that and I may go back to the tack tonight and we should have enough ammo in the turret right yeah um, I'm gonna say yes yeah this is brutal once we're yeah we're gonna be out of here we gotta go so we're gonna have to move out of here all right let's get this stuff sorted out here Okay, let's make some coil shotgun now. We need iron for that. Get a bit of iron out of there. Now, how many... 43... How long are you going to take? Seven coil shotgun will take... 30... That's like nothing. Let's get that started. We're going we're gonna to make more, but we do have to go outside. Like I said, we need to get that put into the junk sledge. I can get stone out of here, too. Just get loaded into that slot. I don't know where the easiest place to grab stone from is. I guess like um, digging down. Now let's grab you. And we'll modify you. Put that in. I mean it helps a little bit. Not, not an amazing amount but now um, didn't bring any concrete did I? No. Damn it. I do have to make the repairs here though. All right, so let's go get some concrete. All right, that should do it here. Now, that's still really good. That's still pretty good. I mean, we took a little damage on here, mostly from people spitting at us. Let's make sure we're updated so we're not going to get killed. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, we don't really need to fix those. I don't. I, mean, I probably should. A little bit of damage in here. Don't want any blocks coming out tonight. With any luck, though, this will be either the last or close to the last horde here. There's probably going to be this one and one more before we have our next base up and running. But I don't want to. I don't want to update anything here. Beyond what we're already at, I think I think what we're at is probably probably pretty good. Anything else needed there? A little bit down here, but not much. Yeah, no real significant damage. A little bit at the bottom, but I don't really care about that. Yeah, this side is pretty good. Forty-two. Uh, I think a lot of this is from me shooting at them too. Just gotta make sure that this is st sturdy. All right, that's fine. Well, there's the first crack of lightning. Let's get our spear fixed, ready to go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to this tonight. Um, clay can go in there. I gotta keep some of that on me. I think we're gonna, like, I, it's gonna be low-key tonight. I can't, I can't be going crazy with the horde tonight. 
Um, we'll prob I'll probably only target and kill those zombies that I feel are probably worth the uh, expenditure of ammo. So, yeah, I don't expect it to be like an amazing blazing horde like we have in the, f the past few nights, the past few times. So we wanted to check this out as opposed to the AK. So let's have a quick look here. That'll max it out. But I think we're going to hold on to that because I think it's going to um, do what I like to call overmaxing it. So it's got more hit points. Like this and this combined put this over the limit, which basically leaves it at max. So I'll use this to repair when this gets a little lower. Let's modify you. So you're doing 92 now. Uh, this was like 47, yeah. That's a massive step up already. Let's put you in there. Actually, I'm going to combine both of these two guys because I don't think we're going to be going back to the AK at all. And if I do, I'll make another one. Combine those two. Let's throw it in the two be sold pile. Um, we do have a coil, a regular coil gun here, but I don't think we really need that right now. Uh, we've already got this mod on our gun. How are you? Grab those two in this. Like, I'll probably bring that tonight. I might as well. I'm only going to bring 300 rounds, though. Cryo grenades I want to keep for when we go do the bunker. I got an idea how we're going to do that. The, uh, that um, quest for Eve is going to be brutal. Um, because we're definitely going to be calling in a screamer when we're underground. And I want to make sure that we can handle the screamer horde that's going to be there. Because I've seen it handled multiple different ways. And I've got a pretty good idea how I'm going to handle it. I want to try and kill as many of them as I can. And I, my idea is to, to loose a cryo grenade on the... Uh, anyway, we'll talk about it in that episode. But it's going to involve cryo grenade and then a bunch of regular grenades. So I'm hoping that we can deal with screamer hordes pretty easy in that base. If not, well, we'll probably fucking die out there then. Um, okay, let's get our stuff that we need here for tonight. Gonna need you. Let's bring the Molotovs. Our first aid supplies. Grenades. We want you, we want you, and you. Actually, all of this stuff, with the exception of that, I think we can leave behind. Actually, I'm gonna leave that behind. We gotta, like I said, we gotta start saving some stuff. So, we can throw you in, we can throw you in, throw you in. You, you. Nail gun stays on us just in case. That stays there. Um, I'm going to leave the Winchester here. Because I don't think we need it. Shotgun can come with us. Bring these guys down. Crossbow I don't want near the front. Because I'll accidentally fire it off when I shouldn't. That can stay in there. Uh, oh yeah, coil shotgun can come down here. Okay. How are we looking? We don't need the stone. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. Might need the iron. Um, God, that's so... Such a feeble amount of ammo. I hear you down there. We'll bring a little extra for the shotgun. Like I said, I don't want to burn through too much tonight. The hordes in the future are going to get nasty, so... The less we do right now, the better. Um... I think that's it. Grab the rest of the coil shotgun rounds out of here. We got plenty of ammo. I mean, I, I'm worried now because my gain stage is over 150. I don't know if that's when behemoths show up. Right. 34, 33 kills. Player kills are basically those um, survivalists. Level 72, 157 game stage. So, I mean, it could be bad. It could, I mean, it could be, right? Anything could be bad. So, okay there. Let's get you loaded. Let's get you loaded. Grab one of these. Use that. Drop those back. And let's grab one of these guys. Delicious. Nothing like steak and potatoes. A nice big fat meal to make you nice and slow on a horde night. 
All right, let's get um, these guys repaired because there was a few of them that needed some repairs. Right? One thing I didn't check though. Oh, not that one. Was how much... Oh, shit. Oi. Fuck off. Horde's coming. Come back in five minutes when my ass is like in danger rather than now. Alright, we gotta grab some electrical parts. Nope. Close the door, the leg. We're gonna be out of here so soon, guys. I, I swear to God, we're gonna get out of this damn chicken ship place. Much as I hate having to do that, um, we're gonna have to do that. Let's grab... I think it's just uh, forged iron and electrical parts, but I don't... I can't remember if I need mechanical as well. But that should fix the uh, wired fences. All right. Can we get to you? We can. You should not need any repairs, though. Right? Yeah, you don't need any. Actually, but we can repair that. And put the outside one up. And repair you. There we go. And are you loaded? Let's see. See if you are loaded. I got a few rounds. Oh, you fired off nine rounds this time rather than just one. Um. Wait, what? Oh, I think I'm standing on it. That's probably good enough. So these things will set off a uh, demolisher. But the SMG and shotgun turrets won't. So at our new base, when we build it, I'm planning on putting... So we're going to be at the window firing out... And throwing shit out the window, right? And then if any zombies get by us to get to the doors, then the SMG turret will go off. I'll hear it, and then I can turn and shoot the zombies at the, at the door. I think that'll work fairly well. I hope. I never did bring a uh, vitamin, but I ain't going back now. I ain't going back. We're good to go. Alright, we can make a shit ton of ammo for this, so I'll probably use this in the big guys tonight. Shotgun on regular zombies. This on regular zombies. This on anybody that's really hard to kill. Yeah, so if I was to talk about this base as being the new base. Instead of the stairs being there, they'll be out straight ahead. And then the walkway will be here. Up to like three blocks away. It will turn that way. Which point the sledge turns there, knocking them off. And this will be one of these windows, like right here. So I can see out, crouch, and shoot. And with these shutters on it, I found... Like, if we put shutters, like... It'll only be one wide. So if we put shutters out in front... With plates to hold the shutters in... Then spider monkeys and stuff can't crawl inside. They've tried. They, they can't do it. And then here we'll have a... like We'll be able to see out, because it'll be plates. We'll be able to see down. We can throw shit out on this one, where there'll be two... Two, uh... Two, um, shutters... And then on this side, a little further over this way, will be where the door is. So the walkway will come along there, turn, and then come to the door. So I can just turn this way and shoot if I had to. Alright, we'll let this play out for a bit. Uh, probably going to kill a spider zombie though. Ooh, that was nice. One shot. Let's kill some of these doctors. See if we can get some pages off them. That's a demon. No, it's not. It's just blood sh shit. Sorry, I saw the I saw the particle, the blood particle effects, and I thought it was the demon particles. And I'm like, that's all awfully early. You stop sh hitting the base. There we go. Pop a biker head. Ooh, you. My god, just die. That was a cop. Let's 
Just barely got him. We're at the extent of this thing, so it's not doing full damage. So let's just switch it up. See what the tacky boy can do here. Yeah, not bad. You. Nice. Come on, you guys. Make this an easy one for me. So we are still 16 max alive. Pull! This is not going to cut it against her. Where is she? I think we got her. This thing is so much more satisfying. It does way more damage. It's like twice the damage. No bags from them, though. I don't know if that, uh... I don't think that did anything. Oh, they're falling into it, though. Yeah, so as long as we're on a solid base... Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. As long as we're on a solid base, they shouldn't hit underneath us. The way I have it in my offline playthrough, my base is an 11 by 11, with a hole down the center that goes straight to bedrock. That I use, I, I do mining at night. Since I don't have feral sense on at night, I can go right down to bedrock and just mine stone. Or, and I, I found iron down there and stuff. So I might do the same thing here. We might try and build. Like, if we do the Shanway base, then I'm not worried about it. But if we try to build something custom outside of the town... I mean, the, ulti the, the best way to do it is to build on top of iron. You know, and dig straight down. Because then at least you're assured of getting iron and stone when, you're, when you dig the uh, your house underneath the ground. Come on, guys. At a certain point, these Molotovs are going to be like useless other than killing random zombies during the day you know they're great for when you're walking around or if you're against a wandering horde but on horde night I mean a lot of these zombies just have way too many hit points and the, the, a lot of them regenerate too so yeah that was a waste cop I think we got him. It's going to be a quiet night, guys. I apologize for this, but it's got to be. That's the that's the kind of stuff we want, though. Those guys. Are they banging down there? I think they are. Oof. Where are they banging? That's kind of fun. It's a lot of a lot of gunpowder to go through though, I think. Another cop. Got him. Yeah, it's a lot of I mean those those arrows do a great job. But it's a lot of gunpowder, so if you're not maximizing the, um... If you're not maximizing your damage when, they, when they're when they hitting... Then it's just a waste of gunpowder, you know? Nice. Leave me a blue bag, man. I want the red ones. Well, interesting stuff's going to start showing up now. Alright, four shots, not bad. Better than nine. 
Oh, so that was six shots. Gotta watch my ammo. Two rounds on that guy. Killed the bear. Wait. That's underneath me. You broke a block underneath me. Alright. I'm just getting pissed because they get tossed around like this. Shit. Yeah, I'm glad I put those bars there. And the electric fence. Ooh, doggy was not... Doggy was not prepared for that. Yeah, this is going to be a very low stress horde night. So the next day, we're going to head back to Bobstown. Going to clear out that shamway. And we're going to look at starting to move stuff over, I think. So we'll take a bunch of stuff with us. We have a job for Bob. We'll go into shamway. Clear it out. Get the upper floor working for us. It's just too far away. We'll get the upper floor working for us. Um, so meaning that we don't have um, any access for the zombies to get to us. And then um, from then on, when we move stuff over, we won't have to worry about... Yeah. Oh, you got food, did you? So that's going to start happening. Some of these guys will start getting through. I want to grab this bag. Can't do it because it's... Of the... Oh, I'm going to close it. Too slow. That was a half decent amount of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of coil stuff. I mean, it might be worth making a coil pistol. But it might, I don't know, it might not be. Like, we're finding coil pistol ammo. I like disassembling it, though, and using the ammo that we can use. I thought this bear is just, like, not affected by electricity. Damn it! My skeet shooting is not working. Oh. Never mind. I said it's not working. I took his head clean off. Come on, Birdie. I couldn't have burned through over 100 rounds of ammo on that turret already. Get these bears out of here. There we go. How many rounds we got left? 100 and something. Oh, they're breaking shit. My turret's... It might be out of ammo. No, it's got ammo. Uh, why do I open my mouth? It's like, it might be out of ammo. Fires. You guys have seen enough of my videos to know as soon as I open my mouth, the actual opposite will happen. Unless I'm attempting to have the opposite happen, in which case it won't. I think that biker died. So the walkway base is not going to have the solid blocks here. It's going to be plates. And then plates on top. So it'll be a double plated. It'll be double plated. Eventually be steel. So if, de if demos and stuff blow up on top of it, it's just double thick, right? Yep. Those, uh... Spider monkeys having a difficult time. I don't want to say they're having an impossible time because then one will break its way in here. Damn it. Yeah, this has been a pretty low, uh, low stress match. But I did learn a couple of things. Um, 
So I was assuming that Darkest Falls was working the same way as it was working in the past, where um, demons can't get electrocuted. I think they can. At least I know that the, the uh, behemoths and stuff can get electrocuted. Because I've been able to do it. I've been able to proc it with a shotgun. Where's that dog? There he is. I don't want him going off. Gotta save my concrete. My uh, concrete and uh, concrete. Damn it! Paused. Yeah, the other thing too is with the inverted plate at the top of the stairs, for some reason they see that as a block. So they run up the stairs, they get to the top, and then they jump up. Even though it's only a small plate. That sounded really close. That block sounded really close. There's that dog. Come on, you guys. Well, we've had, like, a very low-key night. No demos. We've had no, um... Real threat from... Uh, fuck, I just said no real threat from cops. And then what happens? Freaking cops show up. God, this is a pain in the ass. I'm trying to shoot his damn leg. Where's that cop? There we go. Can I get this? I can. Oh, can also cause a bit of lag. Ah, some shotgun rounds back. Yeah, see, there's a good example. I mean, I know I mentioned this already, but we've already got the uh, workbench schematic because it's, it's part of laborer. Laborer is a little weird because there's so many skills that you can buy that are laborer, laborer specific skills that just um, um, will give you skill points back as soon as you take the laborer class. So I think you get like eight points back depending on how much you've spent on the different skills. So like the workbenches, the forges, um, what else? Electro like the, the electrics. So if you take stuff into electricity, there's some of that. Um, so you can get a fair number of skill points back as soon as you take Laborer. But then for some reason it just, it thinks you haven't completed any of those skills. Yeah, I still think there's going to be, a, a, at some point I need to do like a, a series where it's like, we just don't have a horde base. And we attempt to kite a horde through the city, like, the whole time. We have to fight them. We can't just run from them. We have to fight them. Right? Oop. Get caught. Adjusting myself here. There we go. So we have to fight the horde. But then we just take skills, like, like all the stamina skills. We take parkour. We take all those, you know, those skills that we're going to need to be able to run and do fighting and stay around with a half decent amount of stamina. But it should make it real interesting just to never have a horde base. Then we got to kind of make rules around like, you know, if we use a building to get up on temporarily, it has to be one that hasn't been cleared out yet. So the zombies inside are still a threat, right? Things like that. Ooh, that's an opportunity right there. And I was freaking too late. Well, hopefully they'll get knocked into it. I think we're going to use this shotgun here. Oh yeah, went through the fire. We'll use this shotgun to clear them up when we're done here. It's a lot of recoil. Damn it. Or is that uh, a bird? That's a bird. The only hit we get hit on us is a fucking bird. Got 
God damn it. It's so annoying. But at least... There we go. At least with the new base. Um, I think we wait here to see who else we got. With the new base, we'll have a couple turrets on the roof. We're going to have to also start thinking about Succubi in the future. Now, we never got any in the last series. That bird's gone. We never got any in the last series. So we were kind of okay. Man, I got stuck on the hatch here. I thought the birds were all gone. They are. Now. Come on, you guys. Let's finish this up. So today we're going to go... I'm going to grab... Hey, Mo. I'm going to grab um, as much concrete as I can block-wise. Or I'll just make some on the way over. Wow. I don't... Someone got a hit on me, though. Might have been the spider. Oh, fuck off. You and your barfing. Go breakdance somewhere. Ooh, we took one in the bum. Get him out. Good. He banged his head on the way down, too. Look at her. Out. The turret just decided not to do anything. Yeah, you finished that guy off for me. Thanks. Appreciate it. But yeah, we're gonna take some blocks over to the to. Uh, come on, you guys. Uh huh. Well, that guy died. Come on, footballer. Yeah, so we'll take some blocks over to the new town. I'll try to make as many blocks as I can before we go. And then just have them going in our inventory. And we'll set up our new base as best we can. Second floor, I'll knock out the stairs. Um, it's going to be tricky. Because there's a few ways that they can get up if I'm not careful. Um, but then we'll get it. try to get it set up exactly as we have it here. It was like nothing happened, you know? Except the lag disappeared. Because technically our neighbors are almost exactly the same. We have same, the same buildings around us. Ooh, more hazmat. Okay. So what do we get? A bunch of stuff to sell. Which I think I'm going to repair a lot of it. To get a maximum amount of money out of it. Some stuff that we can just plain up scrap. I think that's it. No real pages. We got one page tonight. So that is it for this. Who knows, if we don't get a horde for four days. Is there anything we need out of here? I don't think so. Actually, I want to bring you inside because I think I got a, another turret in there we can get it set up with. Ooh, there's more bags down here. Ooh, level 60 military armor. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, we'll... Uh, Go over to the to the uh, new Shamway. Clear that out very, very, very first thing. Get things set up over there. I'm going to take a few of the workbenches, but not a lot of them. Um, I, I might bring the oven and things like that and some of the food and all that. Um, I don't know if any of our... Um, I don't know if any of our um, forges are finished yet, but they, they're going to have to come next. It'll be done in phases, and what the hell? Yeah, see, a bird flew in here. Did we lose anything? I don't think so. These look okay. That's all fine. That's all there. Yeah, we didn't lose anything. But when we get to the new place, we'll have to close all this off. Even if it's just with frames, you know? Anyways, how's the concrete? Great, perfect. Let's make as many... Um, how long does it take... Anyway, I'll, I'll figure this out in the next episode. 15 minutes. It's a little longer than I want to do, but um, I'm going to get it crafting. And we'll take what we have with us right now, even if we have to make it in, um, make stuff in cobblestone, which we probably will, just temporarily. So let's take the cobble with us. 
not going to take all of it. We'll take a bunch of it, but not all. Leave that here. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And drop any comments in the comment section down below. And we have two stacks of stone in here. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even... Whatever. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later.